In this video, I'm going to show you how to make quick and simple phase shift measurements based on the Lisa Joule patterns on an oscilloscope using XY mode, which is a function available on many analog and digital storage oscilloscopes. For demonstration, I will use a BNK Precision 4078 dual channel arbitrary waveform generator to generate the signals for phase measurement using a BNK Precision 2542B digital storage oscilloscope. Lisa Joule patterns can be illustrated by a plot of two sinusoidal waveforms on an XY plane. Depending on the two signals phase differences, different patterns can be created. These patterns, which can be displayed on an oscilloscope, can then be used as a quick way to determine the phase difference of the two signals. I have set up the 4078 to output two sine waves into channel 1 and channel 2 of the 2542B. As you can see currently, both waveforms are in phase. Now I will set the scope to display in XY mode by pressing the horizontal menu button and select XY. You will now see what looks to be a 4 slash line in the display which is actually a Lisa Joule pattern that signifies the two waveforms are in phase. Now I'm going to slowly adjust the phase on the 4078 for one of the channels and notice the change in the pattern. You will see an elliptical pattern which means the two waveforms are out of phase. At 90 degree phase shift, you will see a circle pattern on the scope. If I continue to increase the phase shift degree, you will eventually see a backslash line at 180 degree phase shift. You can also calculate the phase shift directly from looking at the Lisa Joule pattern by this formula. Take the measurement marked by A and by B. Sine phi equals B over A, where phi is the phase angle. The phase angle is then the arc sine of B over A. These patterns can also be useful for checking distortion between an input and output of an audio circuit such as an amplifier. For demonstration, I will now change one of the 4078's channel to output a clipped off sine wave created using WaveExpress software to load into the channel's arbitrary memory and reset both channels to be in phase. Here are my two signals shown on the scope in normal mode and now in XY mode. Notice the change in pattern. Due to the clipped sine wave distortion, the pattern is no longer a straight forward slash line. Now when I continue to change the phase on the 4078, the pattern will look like a clipped off ellipse. Here's what it will look like at 90 degrees and at 180 degrees. Here's a table of illustrations showing different Lisa Joule patterns at different phase shift degrees.